Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first video ever on this channel. Um, maybe potentially if you want me to do more, I might do some more in the future, but this is my first one. This is my 2006 Polo GTI. I just thought I'd do a quick little video on these um, gas truck conversion from Dark Ice Design. Really cool little kit they've just come out with recently uh, to replace the um, manual one there to hold the bonnet up. It's a little bit annoying, it's usually in the way when you're trying to work on that part of the engine, so it's usually out of the way. Um, I mean, my 2000 Polo GT in the garage has a gas truck and it's even older than this, so I don't know why they went back with the old fashioned uh, manual prop. So it's actually quite nice to have these two little gas trucks. Nice and little, and where they get put is actually nice because it's out of the way, um, and well, not in the way at all. Really simple kit, two gas struts, uh, two mounting points to go on the bonnet and then the two ball, jo um, ball socket joints to go on the wing. Uh, tool wise, everyone should have I would thought have this at home. It's a 10mm spanner, uh, 10 mil and a ratchet and a 13 mil uh, to get the bolt off the wing and the bolt off the bonnet. Kit comes with the instructions, really simple, really easy. Uh, tells you what side these go on because he's decided. Um, that's really easy to, um, to work out anyway. A uh, nice little packet of Harry Bows, and behind there is a nice little set of stickers, which I'll um, put on later for you. So going over to the car, over into the wing, you've got three 10mm uh, here. Uh, the middle one is the one you take off, and then on the bonnet hinge you've got two 13s here. Uh, you take out the top one. So what I'll do now is I'll, um, as I haven't got a stand for my phone to record this on, uh, I'll take out the 10mm and the 30mm and I'll meet you back in a second. So with the 10mm on the wing taken out and the 13mm on the bonnet hinge taken out, you can now take your uh, ball socket here for the bottom half of the um, strut and insert it in here and tighten that up. Just like so, really simple. This whole job takes about a matter of 5-10 minutes. Really, really simple. Anyone could do this job. Put that in and then nice and tight like that. And then you take your other one and you put it there and then you put the bolt inside there but I'm going to need both hands to do that so again I'll meet you back in just a couple of seconds so that is the top joint here and the bottom joint here both inserted both up nice and tight what you do now is take your little gas strut and put one side in there and then one on the bottom here just like that so that's now popped in that's all nice and secure just like that, that's, also, that's one side done. See what I mean as well? It's all nice and out of the way, it all sits in the wing here, uh, which is really good. Nothing in the engine bay, uh, which is all nice. So now we'll just go and do the other side. So again, I'll take these other two out and uh, I'll be back with you in a second. Right, so again, we're back. Uh, 10 mil here and 13 mil there, uh, both out and ready to put the new ones in again. So yeah, again, take your little 10 mil joint here. Wind that in nice and easy. Where have my 10 mils? Over here. This is recording on my phone. Obviously, I haven't got any uh, professional stuff, so I apologise for any um, wind noise and whatever that might come through this. Hopefully, it comes out alright. I mean, for a more niche phone, I hope it'll come out pretty good. So again that one's on as well and then again the same one up here don't worry about the um washer fluid pipe it's not in the way or anything so again right there and i'll be back in a second once i've put that bolt in all right so the top one's now in and the bottom one is nice and snug as well take our gas right again just like the other side pop it right in place there and then we'll get it lined up that is Get popped in down here as well. Stop that. There we go. And that is both of them. And now we can take off this thing. Don't want this bloody thing anymore. Have come on. There we go. Let's get rid of that. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, take our tools out of the way. Put them down here. Get our spare two ten mils. Put them out of the way as well. And that's that's the setup right there. Much better, much nicer, much cleaner. Haven't got this stupid thing in the way, and uh, holds really well. That's it closed. Let's go reopen it. Just like that. And then just like that, you've got. 
on your gas struts holds really well. It's a really good bit of kit, definitely go and check it out for yourself uh, at Dark Ice Designs. And um, at the same time, the rest of the uh, kit gone. Let's grab it. I've got our stickers in here to put on as well, so let's go and do that. I'll be back with you in just a few seconds. Like I said, I've only got one hand, so I can't do this with both. So that's the um, stickers put on. I have put on the outside. I may change my mind, put them on the inside, and swap them over at some point, but I quite like them there. It shows the people on the outside uh, where they came from, so that's pretty good. Also, then you can enjoy your um, packet Harry Bros, but unfortunately, uh, the heat's kind of got to mine and it's gone a bit, gone a bit into one, so I may enjoy that later. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, this is my um, transit Pono GTR, like I said. I have had a lot of work done to this, and there's a lot more to come. Uh, so if anyone is interested, I, I could potentially do more videos on this in the future. There's a lot more to be done to this car in the time to come. But if anyone is interested, just do let me know, and I will I will do some more videos. But that is the Dark Ice Design Kit. I will link it in the description below, so you guys can check it out yourself. Very, very worth every single penny. It is absolutely fantastic. Very, very good design, very well built. And just a very good set of strong uh, gas straps. You will not regret buying them. So thank you for choosing. Um, thanks for watching the video. And I'll see you guys later. Cheers. Bye.